Good morning everyone and welcome to Thursday's lesson. Our learning objective today is to be able to use the column method to add two and three digit numbers together whilst crossing. And to be successful, we need to be able to set up the column method correctly and use our knowledge of place value. Today you can choose whether you want to start on mild, on hot or on spicy. Obviously they get progressively harder the further you go through them. With mild you're adding a smaller one digit number to a three digit number and hot the numbers get larger and spicy the numbers get larger too. Remember it's really important to work at your own pace. If you start on mild and need a bit more of a challenge you can always move on to hot and then on to spicy. If you start on spicy or on hot and you'll find it slightly trickier today, remember you can always move back down to mild and start from there instead. Hi everyone, our first example today is number two from mild. We're going to do a few examples today because we're now moving on to three digit numbers and crossing. So, move my board that a bit closer. There we go. So, we're starting with 118 plus 12. We're going to set it up exactly the same way we've been doing all week, so we're professionals at it by now. So, 118 plus 12. Now, you know me, I always put my ones, tens, and now hundreds on top of my columns, so I don't get lost. I need to leave myself lots of room, because I know I'm going to have ones, tens, and hundreds here, and here is my total. So first what we need to do is do 8 plus 2, which we know is 10. So here I'm going to put my 10, my 0 is in my 1s, and my 1 is in my 10s column. 10. Now we need to move on to adding our 10s. And we have our 10 in 18 and our 10 in 12. And we're really good counting in 10, so 10 and 10 is 20. Well done, fantastic job. Okay. Now I have my little friend here left, or should I say my big friend, because it's in the hundreds column, so it's not a one, it's a hundred. Okay, and now I need to add all these numbers together for my total. So, zero, zero, and zero is zero in my ones column. 10 and 20 is 30 in my tens column. And here I have my hundred. So we know 118 plus 12 is... 130. Brilliant job, well done. Hi everyone, it's me again. We're going to work through number one on hot as well today, just so we're 100% confident in what we're doing. And I'll let you into a little secret. I've had to do this one twice. Even teachers make mistakes sometimes, guys. So I hope you're with me on this one. So, my calculation is 145 plus 63. So we're going to set it out in exactly the same way as we've been doing all week, making sure that our columns are nicely lined up because that makes it a lot easier for us to do. I leave myself lots of room and I make sure I've got my ones, my tens and my hundreds in case I get my columns confused. So the first thing we need to do is five, plus three, which we know is eight. Okay. Our next thing we need to do is work on our tens column and we have 40 plus 60. You can do this by counting tens, you can do this by counting on your fingers, whatever works best for you. But I know that 40 and 60 is 100. So, need to make sure I've got all my digits in the right place when I write in my 100. Okay, now I've got this digit left here, it's in my hundreds column, so I know again it's 100. Okay, and now we're going to total up our three numbers here to find our answer to our calculation. So 8, 0 and 0 is 8. I've got nothing in my tens column here, and I've got 100 and 100 is 200. So our total to 145 plus 63 is 208. See? Easy peasy. You guys have got this. Pause the video now and spend 10 minutes working through the questions.
Good luck everyone, you've got this. And here are your answers to mild, hot and spicy. Remember to pause the video to give yourself enough time to mark them. Well done, you've worked really, really hard today. You're all superstars. And finally, because you're all such professionals at the column method by now, I need your help to work out this word problem. It says Miss Dent has 125 pencils in her classroom and Miss East Hope has 98 pencils in her classroom. How many do they have in total? So remember with a word problem, you need to find the numbers hiding in there. And what you need to do today is do 125 plus 98. Remember, you can tweet your answer at our school's Twitter page and we'd love to see how you get on solving this one. Good luck, everyone.